Alright, um, we are going to do a firewall tutorial here, cover a little bit of the basics of the Cisco iOS firewall. Uh, what we have here is, if you've watched my previous tutorials, you're obviously this should be easy for you. Um, we have two, I believe there's 30, 3725s. Um, yep, and they are both running, and um, they are connected with just an FA cord. And right now, they should not have any configurations on them. Now, for a little bit of terminology here, with Cisco, when they say inbound and outbound for access control lists, what they mean is a little bit different from what you might expect. Um, inbound is, it's all relative to the router itself. Inbound is always into the router, outbound is always out of the router. So if we said we want to apply an ACL on inbound traffic um, on the internal router, on FA00 it would go for traffic that was traveling into the router, into your network, which makes sense. But if we say we wanted inbound on FA01, that would mean into the router itself, not exiting the actual, you know, network. So that's some of the simple terminology that uh, might trip you up. All right, next we're going to do a simple setup of the routers. Um, go ahead, go ahead and console into both of them. Uh, three and four. And for the internal router, first we are going to do host name internal. Um, then we're going to do interface FA0 slash 0. IP add, let's just make it easy. 12, 12, 12, 12, 255, 255, 255 slash 24, just to make it easy. Then do a no shut. And that should be up and running, and that'll pop up with. And now for the external, we are going to interface. Or, excuse me. Uh, enable conf. Oops, conf t. Host name external interface fa zero slash zero ip add twelve 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 thirteen I believe. Yes. 255, 255, 255.0. Uh, no shut. Alright. Up. And let's take a look at this. Alright, that's up and running. Um, what we're going to test now is make sure that this other one can reach it. Alright. Good, we have connectivity between both routes. Alright, if this were a production environment we would want to do several other things such as securing, um, adding a password, Carrying virtual terminal lines, telnet, etc., etc., etc. However, since that's just going to be a waste of time, I'm going to go ahead and get us started here. All right. Now, for denying access, um, let's say we're going to deny access from 12, 12, 12, 15. We don't want that getting into our internal network. So, um, essentially, access lists are in the conf t. Um, after we configure terminal mode is where the entered and basically it's a CCESS access list and then the access list number and uh, after the number of the access list which is it's no big deal if it's one doesn't mean it comes before there's no differences it's just an arbitrary number that you choose um, and then we have the deny or permit so we're either denying or allowing that packet through. <clears throat> and then the source, um, which is the IP address, so 12, 12, 12, 15 in this case. So what we're going to do here is pull up the internal one. 
and we're going to go ahead and do enable conf t and then we're going to do access list and let's just call this one and we're going to do deny uh, source of 12 12 12 15 alright and once I spell that right it'll work alright great so that's step one the second step is applying this and since we don't want it to go we don't want it to be an outbound thing we want we don't want to mess around with the packet we don't have to it's just going to drop it right at the FA uh, zero zero interface as it's going in so uh, essentially what we're going to do is interface FA zero slash zero and what we're going to do next is apply it by doing IP ACC ESS access group one and in. So essentially I just applied inward bound on that. I applied the access list on FA00. And that should deny any traffic from 12, 12, 12, 15. And that's the simple access control list. Um, it's just the basic IPACL. There is, for more complex situations, something called an extended IP access control list. Um, those get a little bit more in depth. They allow a lot more configuration. And we will be covering that in the next part of this tutorial, hopefully. All right, for the second part of the tutorial, we have a little bit of a different setup to better test um, some of the uh, principles we are going to be applying here. Um, we have the same routers set up uh, pretty much the same, um, except now we have an internal client and an external client to test the firewall rules. All right, what we have here is uh, is not technically what an internet setup would be correctly, but to simplify, this is what we have. We have 12, 12, 12, 12, and 12, 12, 12, 13, uh, connecting the two routers, and then on uh, this one we have 172, 18, 10, 1, and 172, 17, <coughs> 10, 1. Um, now the internal client is going to be this local machine. Right now I'm just connecting from the internet, um, just to make things easier so I don't have to mess around with multiple gateways and I am instead hooked up to this router and my external client here uh, is actually going to be this server 2003 virtual machine if we go ahead and take a look 172.18.10.2 um, so this is dot one on the router dot two on the client alright and we're gonna go ahead and test connectivity um, I did go ahead and set up uh, routes on everything so that it just static routes just to make things easy um, we're gonna go ahead and ping 172.17.10.1 and we get a response back alright and we're gonna pull up my local and it might be a little small for you guys to see but we're basically just ping 172.18 10.1 or dot two sorry 1810.2 and we also get a response from that as well so we have we're able to ping from end to end which is great and we'll take a quick look at the running configs uh, we're gonna uh, do show run and blah blah the same usual stuff and interface FA00 122124 and 172.17.10.1 also slash 24 nothing special the IP route showing default gateway I I should have just done instead of 12 12 12 13 should have done FA00 make it it's a lot easier in a production environment etc 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 and then for the external